station in this orbit. Something is not right. This is Sirak on the start of Oracle. People are saying we are the constellation of his hiding visions. Member well, all have been. I hope all your visions are wrong. Get to the not all complicate. Start for it. can set in quickly, and the effects can be deadly. We should keep that in mind. <laughs> I cannot give up!
Vettel, post-incident log. After the initial jump, areas of the Oracle have somehow been sectioned off by strange energy fields or barriers. The fields allow no one to pass and are somehow able to repel, almost teleport, the trespasser back. I am certain these new fields are related to the Vortex Phantoms. Both resonate with the same energy pattern. The exact same pattern we were studying for Anasco's experiments. Something happened in Dasra. And if the situation is bad here, I fear for our brethren in the city. Free soon. Could we talk? This is Sirak Vettel. Post incident lock. Something has gone horribly wrong. We were in orbit directly above Dazra, monitoring our current experiments when we experienced a sudden energy surge. I fear the source came from the city itself. It triggered our graph drive and jumped the Oracle to an unknown location. We thought members of the crew were somehow lost in the jump. But later, we were attacked by what I will refer to as Vortex Phantoms. I thought I recognized some of them. Could it be that the energy surge has somehow transformed them and warped their minds?
without a need for frequent resupply. I would like a chance to talk to you, if you are able. to get past these crates somehow. Ammunition is always welcome if they have any.
has continued to jump. It is completely out of our control. Not only that, but I believe the initial surge of energy we experienced is transformative. With each passing day, more of the crew succumb to whatever residual energy we were exposed to. Most are instantly hostile, but we discovered some are able to retain a sense of self. At least, momentarily.
lodged in the last chunk. The gravity. Restoring the gravity may pull the cell into place. If I can get to the control room, if I can just... No! They are coming!
controls. Why would he not respond to me? Work, damn you! Warning. Gravity procedure initiated. Please check your surroundings to ensure personal safety. Restoring gravity in three, two, one. So connected. Report to operations for system reboot. The Vortex Phantoms... Where did they go? Something is wrong. Is something amiss? Mainframe reboot initiated. Commencing protocol. Station lockdown completed. All major systems on standby. Mainframe reboot completed. 
Warning. Station jump procedure initiated. Please check your surroundings to ensure personal safety. Jump in three, two, one. Execute. Jump completed. Station lockdown released. Initiating data transfer. Incoming transmission. This is Dasra calling the Oracle Station. We've received your transmission. Your orders are to send a representative down here immediately. It appears we have much to discuss. Poor Sirak. So close to seeing their efforts realized. are free soon. Could we talk? I'm sure they're sad to see you go. Very still, and choose your words carefully. They will determine how long you live. Please, we are not a threat. We are trying to help. You have no right to be here. You will tell me how you found this place. You trespass in Dazra, the home of House Varun, and you disgrace it with every heretical step you take. I say again, who are you, and how did you find this place? No signal should have left this system. Mm, but the Oracle was lost. It was deemed necessary at the time. We will reevaluate that decision in light of what has happened. Boris, I think we need not fear our guest. Perhaps in this time of need, the Great Serpent has delivered us a gift. Counselor, with due respect, we have not had unannounced visitors here in generations. It is a clear breach of security. I do not disagree, and I know that security, in whatever small form we can grasp it, is of paramount importance. But you must acknowledge the timing is... curious. 
And perhaps our guest's intent should be determined before we take further action. We received the automated transmission, but you are certainly not who we expected to find. Great serpent, it's happening again. Hear me? Speaker, we are here. We have reached out to you to, to seek guidance in our hour of need. The gate in the Citadel has been opened just to seek you. Have I failed you? What is this place? Where am I? Why do you not show yourself? I strive only to follow your command. All must serve. Please, do not leave me in darkness. Oh, great serpent. Is... Is that you? Is it your presence, I feel? I... I feel something, yet I see nothing. Is this a test? What do you require of me? Great Serpent, I have done all that I can. The Scaled Citadel itself has been transformed to petition you. I know that all must serve, but I need more. I require guidance. Take pity on us and reveal the way forward. If the Oracle brought you to us, then the Great Serpent means for you to be here. Our leader, Anasko Varun, he has appeared like this over and over. So many of our people have been trapped in this state, these vortex phantoms, but usually they are hostile and lash out. Anasko is different. If only we could hear his voice. Some reassurance that all is not lost. I am not able to go into detail. There was an experiment, an accident. Many of our people left in a similar state. While most are hostile, Anasko is... The Great Serpent spared him that fate. He is different. If only we could communicate with him. Anasko Varun is our leader, the grandson of Jinan Varun himself. He sometimes appears to us, but we... Cannot interact. What do you mean? Despite the sightings, none have heard the word from Anasco in all this time, yet you claim to. Do not toy with me. Not about this. If you speak truth, you must prove it. What did he say? I, the serpent. I heard nothing. He said that? It is no joke. Access to the Citadel was restricted. Even if you knew of its existence, you could not have known what went on inside. Truly, you did hear an asko. You have been chosen. like a chance to talk to you if you are able. people of house varun hear me we have asked the great serpent for deliverance from our calamity and he has answered us this outsider has been chosen as the most unlikely vessel for the great serpent's divine provenance and he will help save us all outsider please there is no denying you have been sent here as a sign. You must help us. But there are... Uh, there are precepts that must be followed, principles that must be obeyed. Even in these dire 
circumstances, we cannot turn from Jinan Varun's teachings. You will be granted safe passage through Dazra and the lands beyond. No harm will come to you, on that you have my word. You even have my assurance that your uh, compatriot here will also remain unharmed. But to truly aid us, you must become part of House Varun. This is not a thing done lightly, and it cannot be taken back. Will you commit to helping us by becoming one of the promised? We, the people of House Varun, are the promised. The Great Serpent has blessed us with knowledge of the future and our place in it. Our service to him guarantees us a place in the new worlds he will create when he returns to enshroud the universe. A greater gift could not be bestowed upon you. You must mean the Zealots. I assure you, they do not represent House Varun. We do not engage with the settled systems. They would attack us just as soon as you or anyone else. And they would certainly never extend an offer to join them, as I do now in this time of desperation. So, will you? Well, efforts to do something anything about our current dilemma have fallen to political infighting. I believe your arrival, if nothing else, represents a sign from the Great Serpent himself that we must finally put aside our differences and work together. It must be ordained that you would appear before us now, able to hear the speaker when no one else can. Excellent. Please, come with me. Forgive me for not introducing myself. I am Malibor Dulkef, a member of the High Council of House Varun. I have been asked to represent the Council in this moment. Please, enter our city. You have my word that you will not be harmed. I would ask that until you have become promised, you avoid the citizens of Dasra. They are not used to outsiders. Open the gate! I must tell you what I revealed from now on. Surely you saw the scale of the Citadel as you arrived. It was the center of an explosion of sorts as annihilated most of our city. We've lost many brothers and sisters. I believe we are still in danger. Counselor, what is the meaning of this? Is there a problem, Makula? The city is in shambles, the speaker is missing, and here you are leading some outsider through our sacred space? Why allow this husk to defile our city? Have we not lost enough? Have faith. I believe this outsider was guided here by the Great Serpent himself. And soon, Serpent willing, they will be one of us. But I can be sure and pass your concerns on to the rest of the High Council, if you wish. I apologize for the interruption. There is a ritual intended for converts to the Promised. It has not been performed in generations. We are fortunate that there are those still alive who remember the old ways and have remained prepared for such a moment as this. Harold Inaza. I suspected we might find you here, waiting. I saw the ship landing. I knew immediately that I would be needed. Indeed you are. This is Inaza Kaisir, herald of the Serpent. She will guide you through the ritual. 
I am needed elsewhere, but I assure you that you are in good hands. So, the Great Serpent sends you to me? Hmm. There is something about you. No husk that walked the serpent's path. To enter this sacred cave, there is no turning back. You will be forever changed. This is a path you must walk of your own free will alone. Will you step forward and emerge anointed? One of the promised. A lesson. A test. A moment for the great serpent to reach out and fill you with something more than what you have been. Those born to House Faroon spend every day surrounded by our history. The rituals that separate us from the husks happen naturally over time. You have not experienced that. Those who have not answered the serpent's call cannot coexist with House Faroon. And so, if you are to aid us in our time of need, you must become one of the promised. You have not been filled with purpose by the Great Serpent, so you are merely a husk. But perhaps not for long. Then enter, and I shall guide you along the Serpent's path. For this is a journey you must undertake alone. Your escort cannot follow. This is a profound step for you. Do not worry. You have nothing to fear. The path lies before you. Can but it is up to you to walk it. I will await you at the end of the Serpent's Path. It has served more than one purpose for our people over the generations. For a brief time it was home, but then in his wisdom, Jinan Varun saw fit to turn it into a way for those outside House Varun to begin to learn, to join us in following the Great Serpent. That ended after the Serpent's Crusade. It feels right to see it used again now. ...in our time of need. The Serpent's Path will tell you what you need to know for now. After that, the Council awaits. After that, I will be at the Temple as I always am. And I will offer counsel as I would to any of the Promised. I am. I carry on the traditions that Jinan Varun began, and maintain our people's connection to the Great Serpent. I, and others like me, look after the temples and offer guidance to those who need it. And now, it seems I am called upon to help the Serpent's call fill a new vessel. Truly, I am blessed. A difficult question. The original converts were accepted in the years after House Faroon first made contact with the settled systems. Once the Serpent's Crusade began, there were fears that anyone from the outside could be spies, infiltrators. And after the Crusade, few were eager to join. When Jinan Varun's son Jarek took power, we pulled back, rejected contact with non-believers. We removed any avenues for converts to find us. But 
there were those among us who hoped that one day we might help others see the light of the great serpent's teachings. And if we can survive our current situation, your presence here now might sway opinions on future converts. Farewell. First on Earth, then scattered among the stars. And like all humans, they were lost souls, wandering in the dark, looking for a path. One particular colony sheep housed several hundred of these souls. They were each alone and isolated. Individual tiny flames that could be snuffed out at a moment's notice. Jinang encountered the great serpent and was given the gift of knowledge. He shared his knowledge with those around him and lit the way for them. Followed his guidance and his light, and they cast aside the burdens of their former lives. And thus, House Varun was born. Now you too have the chance to cast aside the burdens, to redeem yourself from anything that holds you back. People's hopes and fears and dreams were entrusted to the great serpent. 
They laid the leap of faith that brought House Arun to greatness. You may now follow in their footsteps and take that same leap. Embrace the Great Serpent, and he will embrace you. The people of House Faru settled this world, at first in these very caves. Jinan Maru himself slept among them in these shelters. It was here that he spread the word of the serpent. It was here that the people of House Faru first understood the truth of their place in the universe. And it was here that the people of House Verun first understood the truth of the Shrouding. The Great Serpent's return. He will encircle the universe he created, and all those who do not follow will be cast into shadow. And the people weighed this knowledge against their former lives, and saw how they had been blessed despite the difficult new life that awaited them. You too would do well to feel that solace amidst the pain.
Until that day comes, we are the voice and the hands of the Great Serpent. Our every act a sacrifice to hasten his return. Make now a sacrifice to prove your devotion. And remember, whether in life or in death, all must serve. Let us begin the final ritual. While Lana since Jinan and Berlin have stood before the great servant, we can all feel his presence. To solidify his bond, you are presented with a simple choice. Before you on this day are several items. They represent the different aspects of House Veru's connection to the Great Servant. Pick the two that call to you. Place them on the altars. Offer it to the Great Serpent that he may fill you with his spirit and make you promise. I would like a chance to talk to you, if you are able. And so you arise, one of the promised of House Varun. Did you feel the Great Serpent working within you? Do you feel born anew? Yes, your confidence is impressive. Through strength and perseverance, House Varun will triumph over all that stands in its way. I grant you the title of 
Vindicator. All will know you. All will trust you. Above us, in the Grand Ship Morning, jewel of the Varun fleet, the High Council awaits your arrival. Serve them. Serve the Great Serpent. All must serve. How may I assist you? Welcome, Vindicator. You stand before what remains of the High Council, advisors to Anasko Varun. We are all that is left after the disaster that has befallen our people. I represent House Dulkef. Jamal is from House Kadik, and we are joined by Lovek of House Vital. We are, all of us, hopeful that your arrival in Dazra and your clear connection to Anasko Varun, for the first time in weeks, represent some semblance of hope. Collectively, we unite under the banner of House Varun, pledged to follow Jinan Varun and his descendants. But our society is not a monolith. Jinan, in his wisdom, shepherded the first of us into families that we might grow and prosper. Our three families have for generations now helped to govern the people of House Varun, and offer counsel to our leader. I understand. Until you were one of us, we could not trust you. By all means, Malavorn. I can't wait to see how you spend this. Please, can we just for a moment... Can we just for a moment what? Discuss whether or not to allow the first convert to House Varun since before any of us were born? A bit late on that, it seems. You were not there. You did not see Anasco. It felt different. We have already wasted so much time and... You're correct. I was not there. Because you elected to travel to the spaceport on your own. ...and then decided this on your own. Do not waste time with more bickering. Anasco, and by extension House Varun, suffers with every passing moment. Of course, Lovek. My apologies. Please, Malibor. Do go on. Anasco Varun, like his father before him, has relied on the teachings of Jinan to guide us. Anasko wondered if perhaps it was time to seek guidance directly from the Great Serpent, and so sought a means of reaching out. Perhaps he found the teachings inadequate. Careful, Kadik. You tread on dangerous ground. I mean nothing by it. We simply were never consulted on the matter and do not know the full motive. The point is that a series of experiments have taken place over the years. Utilizing grav drive technology to hopefully make direct contact with the Great Serpent, similar to Jinan Varun's initial meeting. 
And then something went wrong. We do not know what happened. We were not inside the scaled citadel at the time. Had we been, we wouldn't be standing here now. We'd be like the rest of them. A great tide of energy emanated from the scaled citadel and swept across Dasra. Much was destroyed in its wake. Those caught in the blast have been left in a state of confusion, trapped halfway between our universe and the Vortex. The citadel itself remains in such a state. Right there and yet beyond our reach. We can only assume that the experiment is still running, somehow preventing us from entering the citadel. We cannot get in, so we cannot stop it. We... were beginning to lose hope before you arrived. It has only been a few weeks. There had been efforts to put together some kind of response, some plan. But uh, they had fallen apart. Forgive me, I am no scientist. But as it has been explained to me, what we call the Vortex is the, uh, the space between universes. Your arrival and your interaction with Anasco shows that he can still be saved. The plan had been devised to access the Citadel, but the work stalled. Clearly, it is time to move forward with it. The current head of our science team, Eklis, should be in Jinan Plaza down below us, towards the Citadel. Tell him about your experience with Anasco, and that work on the morning device must proceed. You would speak with me? Yes. Did you require something? I was outside the city, visiting a friend at his farm. We saw the flesh of light from inside, and by the time we made it outside... Uh... You know, in that moment, I worried it was my fault. That I had somehow not been faithful enough, that I had not believed. I still find myself worrying that we are being punished. That we have affronted the Great Serpent in some way. And that this is our penance. Indeed, Serac was my cousin. I know they were assigned to the Oracle. And Malabar relayed their final report sent by the station. They walk with the Great Serpent now. Serac was a respected scientist, dedicated to the Great Serpent. They spent every moment engrossed in their work, a true testament of faith. It was their greatest honor to be selected for the Oracle. The Oracle's fate would be tabled for a future discussion. We have more important issues at hand. Eighty-seven souls reside with the Great Serpent now. Many were some of the finest scientific minds House Varun had to offer. They will be remembered alongside those we lost here in Dasra. Of course. Oh, it was breathtaking. A true testament to the will of Jinan Varun and our faith in the Great Serpent. To have started from nothing and to have accomplished so much I pray to the Serpent that we can someday reclaim all that we have lost. Yes? Hmm? Yes? Well, look who it is. You have made quite a stir, and given the state of things, that is a singular accomplishment. 
To what do I owe the honor, Vindicator? At the moment, obviously a great deal of nothing. I have the High Council to thank for that. Politics and expedience rarely pair well. Well, well. Progress, at last. Then your arrival is even more momentous than I'd believed. I will spare you much of the technical detail, as I confess that pieces of it I barely understand myself. One cannot help but notice the energy field around the Scaled Citadel. Until we can get through it, we cannot shut down the experiment inside, and it has proved quite impossible to get through. We had the beginnings of a plan to build a makeshift contraption to redirect grav drive energy to see if we could penetrate the barrier, but the project came to a halt. Politics got in the way. Every one of the houses needs to contribute, and every one realized they could potentially use it for leverage. What should have been a cooperative effort turned contentious. Easy decisions became negotiations. And so, construction never began. We have sat here, staring at this disaster as supplies pile up for well over a week now. Serpent help us, it is infuriating. The Council just so happens to represent the three houses under Varun's banner, who are also entrusted with various aspects of running, well, everything. Each of those houses needs to contribute something to the project, so the Council is the final stopgap. Were the Speaker here, he could bypass all of it with a wave of his hand, but... Well, you have already seen the state he's in. Indeed. All must serve. I believe I've done enough complaining for now. Time to get to work. If you're here, the Council has likely sent word to the Houses that it's time to stop the infighting. <laughs> I doubt it will be enough. I need to oversee construction here, make sure things are built to specifications. If you could follow up with the Houses, that may speed up the process. The first convert in generations. The only one to have heard from the speaker since the disaster. Oh, I think they will listen. House Fetal owes us access codes for the city power grid. It's the only way to guarantee enough power to activate the device. House Kadik was supposed to provide a young scientist named Sahima to help me. She had at least some experience with the original Citadel experiment. No idea why they refused to send her. And Hasmek, the new elder of House Dulkef, he has been distant, guarded. He claims to have vital information about an important component of the experiment, but has withheld it until now. Help me get what we need, and we will see what we can do for the speaker. And for House Varun. And I may have something that can help you in whatever trials the serpent puts before you as we navigate this. We have been nearly overwhelmed with all that has happened over the last few weeks, but I have still spent some time doing my own research when I can. These phantoms, the vortex. Fascinating subject, really. If only there were some less disastrous way we could have discovered all this. I know, I know. I have lost friends and colleagues myself. We have encountered several interesting phenomena. First, while the phantoms shift to a fully human form when killed, they often retain small shards that appear to be an almost crystallized version of Vortex energy. Second, we have learned that killing the phantoms sometimes causes an even greater disturbance. Horrors, as they have been colloquially termed, can appear from... 
somewhere. We are unsure of their origin, but it is not within our universe. These horrors and their spawn are infested with cysts, a seemingly organic manifestation of vortex energy. We have managed to collect enough to run experiments and have devised a method of combining them into an explosive mixture with varying properties. While they have no use in the development of the morning device, if you find yourself out in the field, I believe they could have more practical applications. I do hope you are not questioning the thoroughness of my research. I assure you, they will work. The process is simple enough that any industrial workstation should suffice, if you have the materials. And, depending on how you combine said materials, you may find the results to be somewhat variable. I hope you can use that to your advantage. Not enough to have prevented it from happening. If I had any idea it was going to turn out like this... I... It had been Inasco's primary goal for some time. A way to recreate Jinan Varun's encounter with the Great Serpent. Everything we knew about grab drive technology, every scientific advancement we'd made in the last hundred years was poured into it. Towards the end... <laughs> I was just so exhausted. I asked for a brief time off. Had I not, I would be trapped in there with the rest of the science team. Yes, I am sure that is how some would see it. I left the project weeks before the disaster, and at that point, we were nowhere near ready. Some breakthroughs were made shortly thereafter, and they ran the experiment. And here we are. Just look around. I'm sure you have at least some idea of how much we have physically lost. A huge portion of the city is just... gone. And those left behind are struggling. Supplies are limited, there is so much work to be done, and we are all just so tired. I hope that eventually we can return things to the way they were, but we must be realistic. That will take time, and I suspect a great deal of it. Yes, depending on how much trouble you're getting into. We have been nearly overwhelmed with all that has happened over the last few weeks, but I have still spent some time doing my own research, when I can. These phantoms, the vortex. Fascinating subject, really. If only there were some less disastrous way we could have discovered all this. Excuse me, Blue Kid. Can I have a word? The request for aid and supplies never cease. I pray that the Great Serpent will deliver us from our hardships soon. Confess, I'm still adjusting to my new role. Hello, Vindicator. Malibor has kept me informed of the situation. The deadlock of the High Council. I hope your presence here means things have changed. You! I see. I'm pleased that the Council is once again working towards a solution. It felt wrong not to help. 
Do you know where I was when it happened? The incident, they call it. I was in the temple next door, conversing with my cousin. I was in the middle of replying to him about, you know, I don't even recall. Some meaningless bit of family drama, I'm sure. One moment he was there, and the next, gone. My cousin, the floor, the wall, just gone. I found myself looking out at the scaled citadel, unable to comprehend. And now, here I stand, the elder of House Dulkev. My loss? Yes, I suppose. Although, from an outside perspective, one could consider it a fair trade, even my new role, perhaps even a game. I appreciate the sentiment, but we shall never know. You cannot imagine it. A single moment of pure, terrible silence. A meter's distance was all that separated me from whatever has become of Dazra. I find that through all the chaos and the scrambling since my mind drifts back to that moment, I could be gone as well. But here I remain, spared. And I do not know why. Hopefully you can deliver them from this. But what comes after? What about the next trial? I'm sorry. I should shoulder my own burdens, not force them upon you. I've grown so tired of the council squabbling, and I want no further part in it. I have no demands, no requests. All must serve. And House Dulkev is no exception. An attempt was made, but I admit it was not as forceful as it should have been. It was clear it was going to fall on deaf ears. That is what I can tell you. Sometime before our current calamity, Anesco Varun approached me looking for information about his grandfather's time. He was frustrated at the lack of progress. House Dulkev keeps extensive records, you see. While I was never told the exact reason behind the inquiry, I was able to deduce a fair amount. I provided him with the shipping manifest from the time of the Serpent's Crusade. Materials and equipment that suggested some highly specialized research. I told Anesco where those materials had been sent. Weeks later, well, you've seen the Citadel. You know as well as any where we are now. I believe so. Yes. Anasco returned from the site in unusually good spirits. He boasted of something called the Vortex Interlock, and that it was the key to unlocking some new unseen potential. Whatever records exist of this interlock were swallowed up with the Citadel. And as for the original site, executors were sent, but did not return. And we can spare no more casualties. So I suggest you visit Malin Dam to the southeast. I believe it is more than it seems. It is the only place to learn more about these vortex interlocks and what connection they may have to the events at the Citadel. And should your search be fruitful, Make sure it is known that House Dulkev was proud to serve when called upon. Have all the supplies been handed for? Yes.
You can't get in there, not unless you have a card. It's fine. It was built extra strong, and the railings are all sturdy. There aren't any sharp edges. So, you're trying to get in there? You're not the first person to come here recently, you know? Anasko Varun himself was here. I saw him, but he didn't talk to me. And there were too many other people around him. They all looked really serious. Okay, but it wasn't much. I didn't want to get too close. Father says I get in the way too much, and I didn't want to do that. But I did see them go in. They had cards that let them open the door. I found one after they'd left. I thought about using it, but I didn't want to get in trouble. Kavil said I should give it to him for safekeeping. So I did. Maybe he'll let you have it. He's really friendly. I'm sure he'll help. Why would I ever sleep?
Power fluctuations detected. Rerouting to compensate. Drainage pump control bypassed. Not welcome here. You will leave immediately. This is your only warning. I guard these halls with my brothers and sisters until the shrouding. None are allowed here, including you. I do not care what you think you need. Jinan Bavon himself charged us with the protection of this facility. It was his last order, and it will be carried out. And yet, his orders were clear. That he has passed on does not matter. The work done here must be safeguarded, protected, never permitted to leave. None but the Speaker may decide otherwise. And you are not the speaker. You were warned. You did not listen. There is not. The Speaker's orders will be carried out. You must die.
You would be rid of me so easily. The arrogance! The work done here has tied us to this place for all time. That is why we have agreed to guard it. Sister, have you not finished this game? You should have heeded Courageous words in the beginning, little one. This is no place for you. The outcome has not changed, Vedrasa. We are still in control here. Your resistance does not change my orders. They will be followed. Do you even understand why you are here? What it is you are looking for? This seems a fool's errand. So, you do know something about this place. It does not matter. The interlocks are not yours. They belong here, with us. And they will stay here. You should have left when you had the chance.
not grow weary of this. I assure you, it will not end. You are the one with the power to change this. Either by turning around, or dying. This is turning into a most exhilarating exercise. All this noise over one little trespasser. Let us be done with this already. The experiments here have ensured our resilience. We endure because it has been ordered of us. How Sparoon's return to greatness begins with the work done here. And until that time comes, we will keep it safe. I cannot. The speaker gave orders. He speaks for the great serpent. The orders must be followed. Grid destabilized. Containment fields failing. Backup systems risk overload. Consider manual shutdown at the earliest convenience. Interlots power our pods. You have killed Hedrasa. What is more, you have disrupted the flow of power within the dam. You are one step from dooming those farmers on the surface. All right, hero. You have proven yourself a commendable opponent. But now. You have a choice to make. If you can remove the remaining interlock, you will have bested us. But you will ruin the lives of those above us. Or we can continue this contest of wills and see which of us is stronger. The choice is yours.
But we do. My dedication to the Great Serpent demands my obedience to his speaker's orders. Power failure. Dam function compromised. Emergency evacuation protocols enacted. Please exit the facility. going to do we'll have to move we can't stay here after this have we offended the great serpent so dasra was not enough i don't have anything to say to you This farm is the only place I have ever known. Now I have nothing. Understand. I saw a Nazco, took measure of his burdens. What you are describing is a dream, nothing more. Not a dream, a message from the great serpent himself. With all due respect to your craft, dear sister, now is not the time for incense and ashes. Nor do you not see the depth of the crater before you? On the contrary, brother. I see it for what it truly is. And if we ignore this vision, Anesco will be lost to us forever. Enough with the proselytizing. The Vindicator has returned. I am old and my eyesight is not what it used to be, but I know the face of success when I see it. Your lead from House Dulkef paid off. Nah. <sighs> I did not, but it does not surprise me. So many projects over the decades. So many secrets. So few successes. I have heard of such a thing. 
Recently, in fact, just before the accident. That is apparently not a coincidence. We do not need it for the device, but if this accounts for some of the leaps in progress in the Citadel, you may wish to hold on to it. As much as I have devoted my life to science, one cannot deny that there is an occasional spark of the divine. The Great Serpent has use for this, and you, still to come. Now we await the assistance of Houses Vatal and Kadik. Let us hope we do not wait long. Politics can wait. Every moment we delay, Anesco descends further into the void. For the last time, faith will not remove the barrier. Science will. It is the hubris of science that failed you in this moment. We reached out to the Great Serpent. This is his reply. You claim he has forsaken us? I do no such thing. The Great Serpent's reply is not an answer, but a question. Are we worthy of his grace? Until that is proven, your works will not succeed. It sounds like you agree with me. And yet, only one is the foundation for the other. But the proof is not in our words. It is in the vision. Anasco's presence still persists in this world. And he seeks our aid. Yeah, fine. I feel like I've lived this argument a thousand times. And the only way to move past it is to concede to its nonsense. Vindicator, speak to my sister. Agree to her fool's errand, so that we may continue the work of saving this city. Do you see cows? I have seen visions of Anesco, searching for one bold enough to enter the heart of the Vortex. And now that you are here, I know your arrival was no accident, but rather providence. And yet, you crossed paths with the Oracle, and found our city hidden among the stars. The Great Serpent drew a path for you, trickles of the greater plan drawing you here. But rest assured, all will be revealed when you journey north. At the edge of the crater, you will find a cave carved by the anomaly. There, you will make contact with a Nasco Baroon. It would be unwise to ignore the Herald's counsel. It is as the Great Serpent foretold. In my visions, I witnessed two futures. In the first, you breached the scaled citadel, but found Anasco had sunk too far into the void. And in time, all of Dazra was consumed along with him. It was not his will. But a warning. In the second future, I saw you make contact with the Nasco, entering a cave through a formless wall. At its terminus was a gate, a path into the realm where our speaker resides. You stepped into this void, and in that moment, something changed. The false future rewritten. Uh, roughly speaking, it could be that entering the Vortex directly would allow you to speak with him. And, while my readings do not show any anomalous activity, I admit there's a lot of interference. Still, that only emphasizes the potential danger involved here. I cannot approve of such an excursion on the minute chance Anasco is present. The closer one ventures to the heart of the anomaly, the closer they are to the phantoms and horrors that lie within. Moreover, 
If this cave was cut open by the Calamity itself, then it is an unnatural formation and highly unstable. Not in the way you and I speak, but in crude terms, yes. Provided you manage to maintain your own sanity through the process. But this is all purely theoretical. No one has ever entered the Vortex and come back. I am no heretic, but to risk so much on a vision... <laughs> it is a leap of faith I cannot condone. I will not stand in your way, however as Inaza has stood in ours. You may not realize it now, dear brother, but our goals are one and the same. It was a winding cave, scattered with walls of dark energy. At the end, a rip in the fabric of reality. In my vision, I saw you step forward, slowly, Following the sound of Anasco's voice, I could hear him calling to you in the distance. His words were jumbled, but as you drew closer, they started to assemble. I was thrust out of the vision before I could see the end. No, it was born from the incident itself, but I believe it is there. And what is face but to give form to the formless? As a herald, it is my duty to make real what is unseen. Then you must embark to the northern edge of the crater. You will find an entrance there, one that has no form. Step through it, find Anasco, and complete the vision. Only then will his voice be heard.
Yeah. Have you abandoned me, Great Serpent? Do you not hear my pleas? You... you understand me? Hear my voice. But I do not know you. I hesitate to ask. But what manner of being are you? Do you truly serve his will? Yes, he works through you, and built the path to guide you to me. I have reached out so many times, to hear nothing but echoes. Yet you, an outsider, hear me plain. And for the first time, I hear you. Clearly your arrival here is fated. By stepping into this void, we are now linked. There is still reason to hope. The Great Serpent will see us through. But time is short. The bridge collapses. The gate is still open. The experiment still runs. Find me in the Scaled Citadel. I will wait for you there.
You reach. Problem. Not to point that thing. You return. You return. You return. What news do you have of an Asco? Then my vision did not betray me. Well, it would seem I owe you an apology, sister. There is no need, brother. Your skepticism only strengthens us. As you say. But, to the matter at hand, did Anasco mention anything that could aid us in his extraction? Still, you were able to communicate with him. Should he appear again, perhaps that link remains. It is much more than that. Normally, when I pray for Anasco's return, I sense he is lost, fading. But when I last prayed to the Great Serpent, I felt Anasco's presence clear and distinct. Even as it receded, I felt him anchored to this world. Yes, there are some who suggest that when Jinan communed with the Great Serpent, a similar bond had been established. I believe the same is true for you and Anasco. I would need time to attempt a scientific explanation for why or how this happened, but for now, let us assume my sister is correct. I would agree. What we saw in that cave goes beyond science. And that is the essence of faith. I do not know what lies ahead. My visions do not go beyond this point. But I do know this link would play a role. In fact, I am certain of it. Agreed. And with this settled, we can now continue the work of aligning the Noble Houses. Together, we will find a way to complete the Morning Device. Apologies, but you're not clear to purchase from me yet. Personal matters? This is a Ministry of State matter, and I will handle it as I see fit. He is a traitor. He turned his back not only on his family, but on our people's entire belief system. The fact that he still breathes is a stain upon the House Bethal name. You would doom us all with your pride. I will do as I please as head of this house. 
If you are not a member of House Bethal, you do not belong here. Another High Council lackey come begging? I told Lovick no more! Forgive my brother. He has been forgetting his manners of late. Victor, this is a Nazgul's chosen. You recall Lovick sent word. I recall he spoke of a newly anointed promised. And we do not need help, especially from an outsider. You can't continue to refuse the council. You must act. Your inaction is killing you. Precisely, which is why he leaves me no choice but to say this. My nephew, Varric, has left. And until he returns, Victor refuses to assist the council. These are hardly matters for the ears of an outsider. And who are you to tell me what is vital and what is not? You are an outsider. You have no understanding of our house. Yes. Quite the conundrum, indeed. Is this not the opportunity you've been looking for, brother? A third party capable of finding Varric? Yes, you said so yourself. Someone with no loyalties to speak of. And if he's become promised, truly his arrival is more than coincidence. <sighs> Serpent, give me strength. You both speak true. Perhaps I have reacted in haste. Tell me, Vindicator, are you well practiced in discretion? Good. I can appreciate a monetary understanding, and to ensure you keep your word, you will receive payment afterwards. As Vittoria mentioned, my son, Varric, has left. Essentially, he has abandoned his post, and not only did he turn his back on his house, but the Great Serpent as well. He is a traitor, and must be dealt with as such. Victor, surely you don't mean it. He does, Luther. He is allowing his fervent pride and anger to cloud his judgment. What my brother is trying to say is that he wishes his own son dead. First, we lose Vashti to that malignance tearing through Dazra. And now you so willingly offer up Varric, as if our house has not suffered enough loss already. I will not speak of her with an outsider, promised or not. Your focus is solely on Varric. My son denounced the very faith that defines Varun's society. He dared to blame Anasco for the state of Dazra. Dared to call our faith in the Great Serpent blind. It is heresy and punishable by death. Because he let his weakness get the better of him. He sees himself as a prisoner in this life. He runs from a duty that others would spend their lives coveting. He is my son. He does not get to choose. He was born to inherit my title, and he knows the punishment for refusing to honor it. This is not grief. This is betrayal. Not only to me, but to our society and the Great Serpent himself. I do not wish Vedic dead, but as head of the Ministry of State, he left me no choice. All must serve. Those who refuse will be met with death. Our duty as wardens is to keep the populace tasked and loyal. All must serve, both the Great Serpent and House Varun. No exceptions. Those who refuse must be cleansed to stop the spread of corruption. Exceptions show weakness, and we cannot afford to show weakness at a time like this. We have done the same for less. You act as if death is the only answer. What about forgiveness? 
I will not risk the ministry's authority on the actions of my own son, even if he is my chosen heir. If the High Council wants my cooperation, I need you to find Vedic and carry out his sentence. And I would ask you to spare him. My brother is acting under impulse, not reason. I have never been more clear. Speak against me one more time, and you will regret it. Verik has a signet ring with House Bethal's family crest. Bring it to me as proof of death. Only then will I grant you access to the power grid. There is no other way. The Ministry of State must uphold order, and you will be expected to serve as we all do. I recommend you start by speaking to patrons of the Herald's Rest. Some of Vedic's associates there may know where he went, but keep in mind anyone who has directly aided him in hiding is an accomplice and shares his fate. The Herald's Rest is our local bar, and unfortunately, my son's favorite establishment to frequent. And while I know a bar isn't the ideal place for discretion, I still expect you to keep these matters private. All anyone needs to know is that you are looking for Varric. See to it you do. All anyone needs to know is that you are looking for Varric for personal reasons. I will not risk word of his disappearance, getting out before I can say the situation has been handled. Some causa to lift your spirits? Varric? Hmm. Depends on who's looking for him. And I, of course. Personal, huh? Hmm. I can respect that. Truth is, I haven't seen him for a few days myself. But if you find him, tell him he better come check on his tab. I know he's good for it, but since he gave Eggy permission to use it, it's sky high. Just because he's a regular doesn't mean he tells all. I wouldn't worry about him. I'm sure he's fine. It always helps when you have a personal connection. I don't blame you, especially in times like these. I know a lot more people than just you who feel the same. I'm sorry, I really can't help you. Unless a drink might ease your troubles. Greetings. You seem to be doing well. There was never a I'll time when I was that. old enough to be allowed to drink alcohol here. Not looking for company right now. This railing is taken. And no, I'm not looking for company. Oh, of course. Who would be looking for me anyway? And why should I know anything about the heir apparent? I'm nobody. Ask him yourself, if you find him. Do I? Perhaps at one point, I thought I did. 
Varric. One day we're inseparable, and the next, I've searched all of Dazra for him. But he's gone. Couldn't even leave a note. That means he either doesn't want to be found, or... Well, I prefer not to think about it. So, what if I did? Like I said, he doesn't want to be found. If he did, I must have been too dense to pick up on it. Yes, and I sure got yelled at plenty of times for being places I shouldn't. Nope, nothing. Enough of this. Please leave me alone. I don't want to think about him anymore. We lost a lot of good people to the Vortex. Bar seems much emptier. Quieter. <laughs> oh, what do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? Oh, you just revealed the question of the day. Where is Varric Vathal? The worst thing that can possibly happen happens. And then he disappears. I mean, come on. We're supposed to be friends. <laughs> That's what I thought. You'd think B would at least be commiserating with me. But I'm suddenly too drunk to deal with. <laughs> Some friend she is. All she cares about is Varric. Huh? Oh, uh, uh, B's a friend. Or maybe was a friend. Yeah. Me, B, and Varric makes three. Figured we were friends till the end. Right? That's what we do. When we lost people to the so-called incident, we banded together. I just want Varric to show up so things can get back to normal. Whatever that is. No, I can't. I... Tame. He mentioned talking to Tane one day about getting off-world, seeing the settled systems. We never thought he was serious, and even if he wasn't... Hmm. Tane still might know something. <laughs> Your best bet is just sticking around. Tane's a regular. I'm sure he'll be by any minute if you just want to take a seat. If you do find Varric, tell him to stop by. He's missed. Good luck on your search. Hope things start looking up soon around here. Hey, aren't you that outsider made promise that showed up here recently? Oh, wow. <laughs> you really bought in, huh? I'm an outsider myself. It's hard to get into the whole giant snake thing. I guess when you're part of the supply chain, they make a few exceptions. There's not a lot of people in the import-export business when it comes to Dazra, and they aim to keep it that way. But believe me, it wasn't any short amount of time before they let me roam these streets. 
You could say I'm like a specialized delivery service. Moving stuff back and forth between Dazra and the settled systems. Just so happens I got a lot of time on my hands since Dazra went to hell and I lost my ship. And let me tell you, I thought things were grim before. Whatever that incident was, this whole planet's gonna need therapy. Tell me about it. I've been doting stuff back and forth for these people for years and still get the cold shoulder most places I go. But then these people lose half their city and you show up and suddenly it's divine intervention. Well, glad Dazer didn't disappoint. Something tells me you aren't kidding. Anyway, enough about that. What can I do you for? Beric Vathal, huh? That's no small name around here. Well, I guess that depends, Vindicator. Who wants to know? I consider Varric a bit of a friendly acquaintance. I know enough about the guy to care about his physical well-being, if you know what I mean. Sounds more like an ominous third party, if you ask me. Although, let's just say after what went down here, my retirement's looking imminent, and I haven't exactly been saving up for a rainy day. So if you're feeling generous, maybe we can help each other out. Nice to see we operate on the same wavelength. I'm pretty sure he's heading into the Highlands. Just not sure where. But I do have the means to track him. So you just say the word and we're off to the races. Highlands region is the northwest side of Dazra. Pretty good area if you don't want to be easily found. Yep, when it comes to my stuff, it's like a package deal. I'm not just gonna hand off valuable tech to some stranger. You make it sound creepy. But yeah, for emergencies. After you. Once we're outside of Dazra, I'll fire up my tracker, and fingers crossed, it'll lead us right to him. Just head out the west gate, should be the fastest route. Plenty of places to be hiding outside of Dazra. Let's hope Beric. Oh, this whole thing? Well, truth is, I made a deal with Beric a while back. The guy isn't exactly keen on being cooped up in Dazra. Wants to see what the galaxy has to offer. So I told him when he's ready, pick a safe spot somewhere outside of Dazra, 
and I'll go get him. Well, I can't guarantee it, but I've got a hunch. If he's run off, wouldn't you take the only thing that could help get you off this planet? Hey, no way I'm running the risk of getting caught smuggling Barrack Bathal off-world. The moment anyone catches wind of that, I can kiss my life goodbye. Yeah, Varric's a bit of a free thinker. Poor kid appealed to dear old dad on a few occasions, but Victor's having none of it.
temporary encampment, but not an uneventful stay for the occupant. Unlock that for a reason. Let us see what it is. I could have done without that. All my years and all the planets I've been on, never gonna get used to those things. Sure it looks like it. Damn House Barone. Wiping out half their city and bringing in whores like these. At least I don't see a body around here, so I hope that means Varric's alive. You find anything? Injured? Hope he doesn't bleed out by the time we find him. Well, what's next? Varric must have fled in a hurry since his tracker's still here. So guess the rest is up to us. Sounds like a plan. And hopefully that injury slows him down enough for us to catch up. Let's head back down and see what we can find. And by we, I mean you.
remote caregiver protocol is active. That's far enough, strangers. You want to tell me what you're doing on my property uninvited? Through here? You realize you're in the middle of nowhere. I can understand that, but I can't help you. The only people here are my partner Zen and our daughter Mila. No one comes around here. We're isolated, and that's the way we like it. That's... a generous offer. Irina, are you sure you know what you're doing? Zen, yes, I know quite well. Never mind my partner, they're just overly cautious. As I said, we're isolated out here. We keep to ourselves. But... We did aid an injured young man a few days ago. That's gotta be very... It's too coincidental. It must have been him. We sent him north. There's a long abandoned growth farm we felt he could make use of. He claimed he lost everything in the incident that swallowed half of Dazra. He wanted to start a new life. We even gave him two of our own growths to get started. You're welcome, and safe travels. If you find him, give him our regards.
Vox is admirable. Trust you have slept well. Vic's been busy if he got this much done. Nothing going on out here. How about you? Find anything? Sounds like it's a waiting game then. It seems I have uninvited guests. You want to explain yourselves? Whoa, whoa, whoa. hey, it's me. Dang. Put the gun down already. It's not you I'm concerned about. It's your... friends. Rightfully so. I wish I could say I was pleased to meet you, but something tells me this isn't a social call. Please, if you're here on my father's orders, allow me to plead my case. I'm glad someone does for once. I am not sure how familiar you are with our culture, but all I've ever wanted was the right to choose. I was born House Vithal. I was raised to inherit the role of Elder, to run the Ministry of State, to worship the Great Serpent. But I want none of it. With House Vithal? Easier said than done. This is true. House Bethal and the Ministry of State are known to be the most devout and punitive of the houses. It would not be easy to leave without extreme consequences, as you now know. It's never mattered how much I tried to reason with him. My father simply would not let me go. His pride and fear of what it would mean for House Bethal is all he cares about. You sound as if you speak from experience. I envy you. Sometimes I would give anything for a supportive word from my father. All I want is to make my own life. Something Tain understood and was willing to help me with. The credits helped too, but yeah. We talked about this briefly a while back already, but there's a bit more to it. I lost my ship to the incident, so I didn't want Beric running off thinking I could just grab him and go. I was also out all the credits he was gonna pay me. That's where you came in. I figured, why not two for the price of one? So, now you know my true intentions for leaving, and given the circumstances, I may be here for some time. My hope now is to make the best of it here.
I suppose I owe you that much. The truth is, the scaled citadel was the last straw. My people are so blinded by faith and politics, they don't see how it's destroying us. Panasko Varun eliminated half our population in the blink of an eye. My sister Vashti among them. I could no longer live in a society that won't put its people first. That would destroy itself in the name of a god that has done nothing for us. Especially when that faith leads to hate. I hope you can see why I want to walk away from all this. To start my own life. I ask that you give me that chance. Anything. Name it. The credits are easy, and I'll gladly pay a price for freedom. As for the ring, Vashti gave it to me. It's all I have left of her since the Cataclysm. The disaster took every physical reminder of her except for this ring. Just wiped her from existence. True. It's as if she's looking out for me. One last time. Take it. I'll find solace in the fact that the ring will remain with my family. And now I hope we are done here. Thank you for seeing reason. I owe you both my life and freedom. Now that's over with. I'm gonna hang back here, talk to Varric a bit. Besides, I don't want to be around when you break the news to Victor. Do me a favor and find me at the Herald's Rest when you're done. Hey, you have literally... Let us speak. You're back. What news do you bring? What have you done? Beric. This blood is on your hands, Victor. I hope you remember this. And I clearly said exceptions should be made. No, it was Beric's choice. He knew the consequences. You were his father. You were supposed to protect him. You think you are doing what is right out of some blind dedication, but you are destroying this house. You already lost one child. You had to murder the other. Victoria! I will not hear any more of this! It is done! Leave us! Oh, I am leaving to mourn my nephew whose memory you disgrace with your very presence. Victoria! Leave her be, Luther. The Great Serpent will guide her. She will understand in time and emerge stronger for it. Then I can appreciate a tool that does not question. Ultimately, I care nothing for what you think. Now, only one matter remains to discuss. Did you find anyone who aided my son in his treachery? Well done. I also have heard nothing of my son's disappearance. So I believe you have kept your word and shall be paid accordingly. You restored order to this house, and have my gratitude. Here, the access code that Ekris needs to connect to the power grid. Now go. I have much to arrange.
first Vashti. Now Varric. I can't imagine this is what the picture drew. Something. have to get approval before you can buy any weapons from me. You do not have approval to trade with me. Fate lies in the morning device. It must be completed. Ah, did Victor finally relinquish the access code? Ah, excellent. We'll finally have the resources to fully charge the morning device. Now, let's hope House Kadik is as forthcoming as the others. Remember, House Kadik business is its own. Only Rasma and Jimal may decide otherwise. This is exactly the impression we don't want to give. Please, Jamal. Don't you see how all this works in our favor? It's not up for discussion. I won't risk what we've worked so hard to achieve. It's done. No. You'd risk our future and reputation as a house. But you are the chosen elder. Ah, don't patronize me. The Great Serpent spared our house. We are favored here. And shouldn't you get back to the Council? We can't afford to be absent at a time like this. I guarantee I'm not missing much. But you're right. I'll be heading back soon enough. May the Great Serpent bless you. So, Akris has sent our newest Vindicator to inquire about Sahima. Don't worry, Jamal's already told me all about you. I'm Razma, elder of House Kadik and head of the Ministry of Conjunction. The Ministry of Conjunction is one of the three government branches of our society. We deal in information to ensure the High Council can make educated decisions. Most of our work is highly classified. Even the High Council itself may not be aware of all that we're involved in. House Kadik is one of the three noble houses under House Varun. We have a reputation on being the more moderate of the three. Not as fervent as House Vithal, and not as passive as House Dokef. We're also largely associated with the Ministry of Conjunction, since I lead the department. Well, it's also an honor to meet one as interesting as yourself. I wouldn't have suspected an outsider to be made promised, but who am I to argue with the Great Serpent's choice? This is exactly what I was afraid of. Serpent, give me strength. I know the Council is looking to Sahima for answers, but the truth is, she's been taken, along with other members of the House. They're being held hostage by zealots, and now they're demanding negotiations. 
This is a major overreach. I have never known the Zealots to be so bold. What happened to Dazra was a cataclysmic event. The city may seem in order now, but those first few days, it was chaos. And the Zealots took advantage. Because right now, this situation is a matter for the Ministry of Conjunction. As much as the Council thinks it's their business, it's not. At least not yet. They want Sahima, and we're trying to produce her. Perhaps the Zealots, you know. But they were once a part of Varun society. Our relationship is far more complex. The Zealots have yet to name specifics. At best, they'll demand an inordinate amount of credits or firearms. Worst case, a seat at the High Council or even the reinstatement of their house. House Malin. They know we can't risk Sahima for Dazra's sake. So, they won't hold back when it comes to demands. They had a house. House Malin was abandoned a long time ago. But there are some who'd want to see it reinstated. House Malin was fully dedicated to John Barbaru. They objected when his brother, Jarek, was chosen to take over as leader. They knew he would bring an end to the Serpent's Crusade. It's why they abandoned their house and became the zealots you know today. To continue what they believe is Jinan and Jandar's work. Jinan Varun had twin sons, Jarek and Jandar. Jandar fully supported the Serpent's Crusade, and to many in House Malin, was the best suited to take over for his father. Aha. Uh -huh. My thoughts exactly. Normally I'd have agents doing everything possible to find them. But we too suffered losses. We need to be here. Present. I couldn't risk more lives. It's the only reason I even agreed to these negotiations. But now that you're here, I can finally take action. Of course. But the negotiations offered a chance to get Sahima and the others back without putting lives at risk. I saw the chance and had to take it. As demanding as I'd expected the Zealots to be, I fully intended to do everything in my power to bring them within reason. <laughs> I couldn't have put it better myself. However, there's still one unanswered question. I don't know where the Zealots are keeping Sahima, but I have a good idea who does. Their name is Merrick. Merrick is a Kadik, and they also work for me as an agent in the Ministry of Conjunction. This is where matters get complicated. Once I made the decision to go through with the negotiations, it wasn't necessary. Now that the situation has changed, well, that's going to be your job now. It's not the family name that complicates matters here. As I said, Merrick works for me in the Ministry of Conjunction. They've been establishing an inside relationship with the Zealots for some time now. On my orders. Forcing them to give up the information could jeopardize all they've worked for. 
so don't expect them to be forthcoming. Get the information any way you see fit, as long as no physical harm comes to them. Understood. Merrick is proud of what they've accomplished, so I doubt they'll give up information easily. If being persuasive isn't your strong suit, perhaps appealing to their substantial ego may help. If you can stomach it. Just don't be direct. I'm sure it would put them on the defensive. Either that, or make them completely unwilling to talk. What better way to surveil a threat? It's important for us to know what the Zealots may be targeting, to stay one step ahead. The people of Dazra look to us elders for strength and guidance. We cannot fail them at a time like this. Don't let my composure fool you, promised. It's neither easy, nor something I take lightly. The Zealots don't trust easily. If their location was discovered, Merrick would most likely be the first they'd suspect. They'd never trust them or any agent of House Kadik again. See that you do. You'll find Merrick upstairs in the meditation room. Be quick, promised. Time is of the essence. Please try not to alert anyone to what you're doing.
You're no member of House Kadik. What are you doing here? Oh, so you're the heretic turned vindicator who thinks they're one of us now. So tell me, what would a chosen one such as yourself want with someone like me? Oh, I certainly don't. I may have many talents, but mind reading isn't one of them. <sighs> After all I've done, I guess this means the High Council is still asking Auntie Razma where Sahima is. And if you're here making demands, she obviously has decided to make use of you rather than undergo sincere negotiations. I see what's going on here. Well, I am one of the few to garner any amount of trust with the Zealots, so she should be. I can't imagine where the Ministry of Conjunction would be without me. Yes, I can see the jealousy all over their faces. It's nice to see I'm being properly recognized. I may excel in my skills, but it doesn't mean the hours I put in are any less. Exactly. There's still research, analysis, documentation. Eh, too much documentation, if you ask me. But altogether, I have the exact talents needed to do this job, which is why I was entrusted with the Zealots in the first place. I admit it hasn't always been easy. They are Zealots, you know. I see you're familiar with standard zealot tactics, but it's really all about crafting the perfect scenario to encounter the right one. You don't just waltz up and say hello. It takes a great deal of surveillance and profiling to determine the right approach. You have no idea. I can't even tell you how much time and effort it's been to sway the zealots my way. Not to mention the stress over my own personal well-being. I may be the best at what I do, but I'm not stupid. The Zealots do have the element of unpredictability. I was wondering when your own agenda would come into play. I've worked hard to obtain my position with the Zealots. And like I've told Rosma a thousand times, I have no reason to believe they're going to hurt my dear cousins, especially Sahima. So, as far as I'm concerned, that information stays with me. As much as I'd like to help you, I don't think so. I won't argue her importance. But they could be exactly what gets us Sahima back. And when these negotiations succeed, I'm sure you'll get her. Serpent, save me. Stop talking. Now leave me alone before I call security and have you escorted out, or worse. Service to the Great Serpent is payment enough.
Mm. If the system is protected, there will hopefully be valuable data. Perhaps you join our... You must have gotten the location. Ah, yes, the old Baroon military outpost. It's a remnant of the Serpent's Crusade. If my intel is correct, you can find Shadow Station Epsilon in the Badlands, north of Dazra. I can send you the coordinates. The Shadow Stations were established during the Serpent's Crusade. A series of secret military installations that few knew about, and even fewer may remember. The idea was to have isolated centers focused on different aspects of furthering the Crusade. This way, if one fell, it wouldn't endanger the others. Epsilon was once a research station, with a focus on grav drive manipulation. The Zealots have since vastly expanded upon it. But it makes sense if they intend to use Sahima to their advantage. Shadow Station Epsilon is one of many Zealot bases scattered throughout. As I mentioned before, I wasn't willing to risk agent lives in order to scout them all. If anything happens to the hostages, they will lose a lot more than leverage. We will do whatever is necessary to bring Sahima and the others back safely. Now that we have a rescue mission underway, I'll speak to Merrick about setting up the negotiations. The current plan is to hold them at one of the geothermal power stations. Meet us there when Sahima and the others are safe. It's a fairly neutral location, and just the right distance from Dazra, so both parties will feel safe. The geothermal stations are also autonomous in nature, so we don't have to worry about unwanted eyes and ears. If memory serves, it's southeast of Shadow Station Epsilon. It shouldn't be too hard to find. Good. Serpent willing. Your timing will line up. I'll stall the Zealots as long as I can, which shouldn't be an issue. That being said, I'd still appreciate it if you could act quickly. Now, Jamal wants an update before you leave. Just don't let her distract you for too long. Vindicator, a word before you go. Tell me, Vindicator. What do you know about the Zealots? I'm impressed. You've already learned quite a bit from your time with us. The Zealots are widely frowned upon within our society. They're a remnant of the Serpent's Crusade, days we'd like to forget. Has my dear sister given you any history on our house's relations with the Zealots? I'm surprised she even mentioned that much. Razma would have everyone believe she only wishes to keep an eye on the Zealots, so the Council can make informed decisions. The truth is, she's had this particular group of Zealots under her thumb for quite some time. This is only a problem now because she's lost control. That is the real reason why Razma hasn't informed the High Council, and I'm sworn to silence. I have some choice words for anyone supporting a connection between House Varun and the Zealots. Exactly. House Kadik already has a reputation for being sympathetic to the Zealots, but the truth is far worse. Razma wants the Zealots to back House Kadik, so the balance of power between the noble houses would shift to us. She's been employing them. Paying them in supplies that aid their blind crusade.
Rasma would believe they want to reintegrate or even reestablish House Malene, and she's a fool for it. The Zealots want nothing but the means to carry out their war. Credits, weapons, and ships. And these very supplies would be used to harm not only your people, but our own as well. There are several members who are sympathetic toward them or their cause. Some see beyond their extremist veneer and believe they're just misguided. A very small few may believe Jandar truly was the rightful heir, but none would ever admit it. I'm certain it's the case that members of the other houses feel the same. House Kadik is just the only one who's been exposed for it. The Council knows nothing of her work with the Zealots, and I aim to keep it that way. All elders have their own ambitions. I'm certain that's all they see. What none of us expected was the disaster that is the scaled citadel. The aftermath is what allowed the Zealots to grab Sahima and the others, flipping the balance of power in their favor. Razma has lost control and is putting House Kadik's reputation and power at risk. She only appears that way now because she has you to fix it. House Kadik shouldn't be associating with zealots at all, except on an extermination level. But worse, we absolutely cannot be supplying them with ordinance of any kind. We need to cut ties with the zealots altogether. Exposing this information to the Council would condemn not only Rasma, but House Kadik along with her. I have no wish to tarnish our house or ruin my sister. I simply want to show her the error of her ways. How astute. I want you to put an end to any connections between House Kadik and the Zealots. And while my position won't allow me to be blunt, I'll still make it clear. Should the hostages not survive, Rasma would blame the Zealots and cut all ties. House Kadik would go to any lengths, it seems. Those few lives will be nothing compared to the lives the Zealots will take if House Kadik continues to supply them. Sacrificing them would open my sister's eyes, quelling any sympathy and desire to work with the Zealots. Once Rasma no longer sees the Zealots as an ally, the rest will soon follow. Perhaps you don't understand. These noble houses have existed for generations. The people look up to us to guide them under the will of the Great Serpent. The fall of a noble house would put everything into question. And what the state Dazra is in right now, I won't allow that to happen. What we need is Sahima's research which she has with her. You just need to bring it back. Think about it if you must, but if you care about your people, you'll come to the same conclusion as I have. And when you do, just know that we can't afford any loose ends, no witnesses. As far as everyone else is concerned, the hostages were dead when you arrived, and you exacted revenge in House Kadik's name. Of course not. But in this situation, it is the most effective means to an end. As a mediary, I am constantly weighing decisions based on both immediate and long-term consequences. This decision is awful, I know that but the far-reaching consequences are worth the sacrifice. Zealots are unpredictable, and their passion to their cause often makes them prone to violence. Whether the Zealots believe it or not matters little, but Rasma certainly will. The settled systems, of course. They're the Zealots' number one target with more victims every day. I trust you'll make the right decision. Until then, I'll see you at the negotiations.
expecting results. Here, far from the city, voice of the great circle.
I would like a chance to talk to you, if you are able. they amount to something. more signs of trouble.
have to get me out of here. Who are you? Serpent's Grace, I knew it! I knew she wouldn't just leave us here to rot. It's more than just me. There are others. The Zealots have been using them to force me to continue my research here. They think I have all the answers since the original experiment was a catastrophic failure. The Zealots were wise in their tactics, up until now. The original experiment! The one that took out half of Dazra and sealed off the scaled citadel! Surely you must know! I'm sorry. I realize the Elders and Council members may not be properly disseminating this information. I'm not one for politics, obviously. Well, the Zealots think they are forcing me to continue my research here. They want me to apply my theories to an ASCO's scaled citadel debacle. Somehow they ascertained my previous involvement. Are... are you saying my theory is correct? I knew it! I told them their algorithms and insufficient testing were only giving the illusion of stability. But no, no one wants to listen to me. Not the girl who put people twice my age to shame when it came to assessments. Of course, this is what it would take for Razma to send someone after me. Negotiations? Oh, right. I'd almost forgotten. I overheard the Zealots mention negotiating with House Kadik, so the motivations are clear. Not only does the High Council deem me important, but Razma needs to remove me from the equation. I get it. But at least now everyone knows I was right. All right. First, we need to free the other hostages. The Zealots aren't aware of how I've been delving into their systems here. I told them I needed full access if they expect me to replicate the Nasco's experiment, and I didn't even bother with risk assessment. They think I'm applying my theories to their poor excuse for technology down here. Granted, I could probably make it work if I had to. Right. Focus. The other hostages are being kept just beyond this room. I can disengage the locks to their cell and grant you access to an elevator in the room beyond that will take them to safety. You'll just have to clear out that area first, and the zealots down there are... different. The zealots you'll encounter beyond here are... altered somehow. To be made thus would be to show them the Great Serpent's mercy. Some may, but keep in mind that we are scientists. Many of them have never seen true combats, and are no longer proficient with weapons. But some, like me, may still be capable. Just don't expect much of them. I fear you may have no choice here. Just be careful. Usual tactics are unlikely to work against them. While you get the rescue underway, I'm going to set up certain guarantees here. I'll meet you and the others outside.
The Zealots have a small network here that I can plug into. They think I've been working on my research, when really, I've been formulating a virus that will shut down this entire base. And their ships. I'm more than capable of handling myself. Besides, the Zealots think they need me, so my life isn't in danger. If I'm not out there when you free the hostages, just come back for me. And a well thought out one at that. I just need enough time to set up a remote device so I can launch a virus that will render this place useless. Think of it as a failsafe to guarantee our safety. The Zealots would never risk this base or their ships. No way. It's probable that we'll make it, and when we do, I'm handing this over to a familiar face. No offense. Now move it. You've got hostages to free. A zealot. Who are you? Thank the serpent. So that means she's safe? I wish it were that easy. The zealot separated us. Our brethren are still out there. Please, I can ready my people here, but you'll have to deal with the zealots. ...and rescue the others so we may all escape safely. 
There's another zealot like the one that guarded us. It's unlike any we've seen. They're augmented somehow. Their minds lack any inhibition. Just be careful. Other zealots are down there as well. But that's the one to worry about. I'll be keeping an eye out, so we'll be ready. Great ser serpent, save me. The great serpent has heard me. I have things I will when you have time.
is this? Thank the serpent. I thought I was done for. You did it. You got everyone out. You did it. It's true what they say. The air really does smell fresher. Serpent, bless you. We owe you our lives. Thank you. Now, it's time for you to head back. I'm going to stay back a moment and make sure everyone here is okay to make it back safely. I'll catch up with you shortly. Just let me know where the negotiations are taking place. Don't worry. Razma came through for me. It's only fair I return the favor. I'll be there when it counts. Now go. These members of your house have suffered. I can respect your decision. I can't thank you enough for saving us. to be unreasonable the whole time? I thought this was a negotiation. We're having a friendly chat, aren't we? It's not my fault you don't find my offers acceptable. Nah, just the person I wanted to see. Please tell me you bring good news. Good. Now it's my turn to watch me hail squirm. Razma, who is this? You allow any commoner to just waltz in on official business. I'd expect better security from House Kadik. <laughs> this is hardly official business. Yes. And now these so called negotiations are over. Over? You'd risk everything after the whispers of a stranger. I demand to know who this is. You think I care about Anasku Varun, son of a traitor? Only a complete fool would expect me to believe this. It's true, Mihail. And if you don't leave now, peacefully, I'll make sure your ships and Shadow Station Epsilon are made dust. You... How did you... You're bluffing. Test me. You think a genius mind like mine wouldn't find a way to hack into every system in your base? This remote device will launch a virus that will detonate systems within Epsilon, and reach your ships as well. You realize how this may affect future partnerships, Razma? You'd jeopardize our connections. It jeopardizes nothing. It merely restores the natural order. The natural order. I could take you all out here and now. You know every one of us is prepared to answer the Serpent's call. You're so willing to sacrifice your allies at Shadow Station Epsilon? You don't think they're as prepared as we are? We all answer the call, and if that day is today, so be it. No, but it's the death they know is possible. Besides, you think I'd turn my back on the insults thrown here today? You mean, do we think you'd throw away your life and the lives of everyone at Shadow Station Epsilon over your pride, Mihail? 
No, I for one don't think you will. And you can't deny our partnerships have been beneficial for us both. As much as our people may disagree, Jandar would see you sacrifice your life in direct service to the Great Serpent. Both would have you die cleansing the accursed and turning those who may listen to his shadow. You know this to be true, Mihail. A true promise lives only to serve, and your death today would serve nothing. Blessed sister, you speak truth. I have been blinded by pride, but your words have guided me back to the path. All right, I won't deny my brethren the death they deserve, but I won't forget this either. Don't think this won't change anything, Razma. Things have already changed, Mihail. From the moment you kidnapped House members. These negotiations are over. Now leave us. I can't believe the Zealots listened to you. Good to see you. Couldn't have asked for a better. Answer. I would prefer that we both remain light on our feet. You never know what could happen. You have no House Kadik is in your debt. Was... As am I. I owe you my life. Sahima, you are a part of this house. I I know. I just wanted to say thank you. Personally. And here. It's the research and algorithm the High Council wants. I'm sure they'll appreciate it more coming from you. I'm going back to check on the others, but maybe come find me when you're done. Great. You can find me at the Great House whenever you get the chance. We'll talk later, Sahima. <laughs> As I was saying. House Kadik is in your debt. You've helped me maintain a very precarious balance. And one day it will. But until then, they're a necessary evil. One that we'll be keeping a much closer eye on. I'd appreciate it if you kept this a secret. A fair price to pay for silence. The others involved know better than to speak of this. As much as it disappoints me, I can't say I'm surprised. Jamal's never cared for argue with the Zealots. And she has no love for those taken. But this is what makes her an excellent mediator. This will be discussed at length later. But that is a personal matter between me and my sister. But the truth is... House Kadik comes first and foremost. And she was willing to pay the hard price for what she deemed necessary. Had I been in her place... I can't say I wouldn't have come to the same conclusion. You and the rest of our house. Now, I have much to do, and so do you. Ekris and the High Council will be expecting you. Well done, Vindicator. Sahima's research is essential. Without it, we risk a second catastrophe. Ah, were you able to find Sahima? Perfect. I have no doubt Sahima's work is the key to stabilizing the morning device. If only the others had listened to her, we may not have lost so much of our 
great city. It shouldn't take me long to install her work. Uploading Sahima's algorithm. Plugging in the necessary variables. <sighs> it is done. Vindicator, will you do us the honor? Platform. Activate the power grid interlink. Powering draft drive. Field projector standing by. Standing stabilizers. Stations reporting. Ready to proceed with target. Targeting system Well done, all. Well done. We have done all we can. I am sure the Council is waiting to speak with you. We may yet prevail. I was not certain this would work, but it seems the Serpent has blessed us. You have always lacked faith, Dulkev. One could argue that faith got us into this mess in the first place. Enough! It is time for action, not bickering. Agreed. We must secure the Citadel. Send in everyone. Are you mad? We have no idea how stable this is. No idea what is happening inside. Time is a luxury we do not have. Committing a large force is impossible. There have been reports of increased zealot activity, no doubt in response to what we have been doing here. It would be unwise to leave Dazra even more vulnerable than it already is. And, to be candid, we have no idea what will happen to anyone entering the Citadel. We must minimize the potential risk. It is only fitting that it should be you. Really? I do not doubt our newest member's conviction, but... What else can we do, hmm? He is the only one who can communicate with Anasco. Save as much as you can. Save it all, if possible, but... The Speaker must be your priority. 
do whatever it takes to bring Anasco back to us. It will be nothing short of the highest honor. We will not fail. We will speak again soon, I hope.
take what you mark. we made was yet another vision this is real is it not i knew the serpent would deliver me from this nightmare but there must be some way out every time i have attempted to leave this place i find myself lost wandering unable to see there is nothing out there. Tell me, what of Dazra? The people of House Faroon? I have had terrible visions. A dreadful sense of loss. Your loyalty is noted and indeed appreciated. I cannot help but mourn all that we have lost. All that I have caused. You must believe me. We meant none of this. All of the research, the calculations. We thought we could contain it. I only ever wanted to help. To improve, to elevate House Varun. Oh, I would like nothing more, but I'm afraid it is not that simple. The chain reaction that started, it is self-sustaining. We tried everything. We had hoped we could complete the experiment, but then the vortex interlock burned out. You... you have one, don't you? I can feel the power from here. Then the Serpent truly has sent you to us. I wish I could guarantee your safety, but... I am graced by the Serpent and have retained my faculties. So many of my people were not as fortunate. You will have no choice but to deal with them. The reactor level is below us. Bring the interlock there. We will need it if we wish to see this through.
someone or some thing. Clean up whatever's left behind.
imagine it was not part of your training as a miner. Always welcome if they have any. Thank <laughs> you. 
strong compulsion that leads you to do this. Childhood trauma? It is okay to let things go. Profit is never necessarily the aim, but
shop. You seem to have taken on more than you can carry. Require assistance. stabilized before we can proceed. A 
and not by itself. But the experiment at the pinnacle cannot be completed until the power is stabilized. Once it is done, then we can finish what we began and set everything as it should be. I could not say for certain. When this is all behind us, we will need time to review the data and prevent it from happening again. There is no question that the failure of our vortex interlock caused much of the instability. Beyond that, I would need to consult with our scientists, and I'm afraid that many of them have been lost. See what you have helped to say. has gone wrong, all we have sacrificed. I confess I had lost hope. I grew up hearing stories of my grandfather's communion with the Great Serpent, the immense responsibility he was given to create and guide House Thurl. By the time I became Speaker and inherited that responsibility, so much had changed. The once proud glory of House Varun was diminished. We had lost our way, and I alone could not discern a path forward. I required the Great Serpent's guidance once more. So, I set out to find him. If the fate of your entire people was in your hands, 
Would you do any less? Perhaps. But were that true, were he to judge me for it, I could accept that. It would have been worth it, all the same. Perhaps that judgment still awaits me, for thus far I have not seen his glory in person. I learned that my grandfather had attempted something similar. I found reassurance in that idea that he, too, sought additional instruction from the Serpent. And over time, I began to see that the Great Serpent had indeed left a path for me, hidden amongst the experimental failures and setbacks. This vortex, the place between places, and the energy it holds, could be harnessed, refined, directed. No. An unfortunate consequence of simple beings grappling with divine power. A mistake that will not be repeated, I assure you. Utilizing the Vortex energy, we have learned that we can create powerful warriors. Capable of teleporting vast distances in an instant. The brave volunteers in this room await the chance to be the first wave of soldiers loyal to the Great Serpent and our cause. House Faroon can project force on a scale unimaginable in the history of the human race. Jinan Faroon's mandate can be fulfilled. The Serpent's Crusade can begin anew. Despite all that has happened, their life support system has remained stable. Just one more sign from the Great Serpent that we are following his will. And now, the glorious honor falls to you, my faithful servant. Activate the pods. Carry out the Serpent's will, and begin House Varun's triumph! Please, I have waited so long for this. Just activate the pods! What other choice do we have? The heathens and heretics loathe our very existence already. Why not be what they expect? By finishing what Jinan Varun started, we fulfill our duty to prepare the way for the Great Serpent. And none will ever again dare mock or belittle us. Why would we reject the perfect opportunity, when the Great Serpent has so clearly placed it within our grasp? He calls us to act, and we must answer that call. You yourself must have encountered the Phantoms in Malim Dam. You know how formidable, yet limited, their abilities were. The Varun soldiers suspended within these pods are an improvement on all of that prior work. Activate the system, and they will be suffused with vortex energy, making them nearly invulnerable, giving them almost unlimited engagement range. They will be proof that House Varun's ascent to glory has begun. None will be able to deny it. Well, surely you can see that I am unable, or else I would have done it by now. And I think it fitting that the Great Serpent has led you this far, to now allow you to be the one to restore House Varun to greatness.
have killed them all! You think you can override the will of the Great Serpent? You pledged yourself to House Maroon, but you are like all the rest. Weak of will, short of sight, a betrayer! And in the end, you have changed nothing! There will always be one more willing to serve, and once I have restored the Citadel, I will find them, and send them out into the settled systems! Zealots! Of course they would attempt to poison this, as they do all things! They will not stop me. The work will be completed, now! Come then, all of you, ascend the Citadel! or squabble amongst yourselves. I will await you at the Pinnacle. How are you? I am old. We will speak again.
Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets. Something on your mind? Did you need me? Some other time then.
best not to leave anything else. Expertly done. Let us see what was being protected.
needs to come with us, you know. Nonetheless, served your part in the Serpent's plan. Neither you nor the Zealots will disrupt our achievement now. The gate will cycle one more time, shifting the Citadel into the Vortex. You and those bothersome Zealots trapped inside will be cast into the Void forever. And I will carry on the Crusade myself! Shut down! It, like the Great Serpent himself, is inevitable!
Slowly, slowly. You I have told been you through a lot. Make it. I cannot believe it. The citadel is gone. There is no sign of an Asco. You failed. You brought us no scrap of hope for the future. I do not wish to suggest that I do not care. I would do more than suggest. You are inconsequential compared to the speaker. Why are you standing here instead of in Asco? Then truly, we are lost. Without an Asco, there is no speaker. There is no way forward. Perhaps. Or perhaps we acknowledge a simple truth. We are currently the government. We decide what happens from here. You dare speak of treason? Heresy! I speak of survival. Please, calm down, both of you. This is not a time to be calm or sit idly by. This is a time for action. We, the three of us, are the High Council. All of House Varun looks to us for guidance. We should provide it. Indeed, we will. So we should name one. Right now. That is not within our power. But, Lovek, it can be. We can decide that right here, right now. We can carve a path forward for House Varun. Or else, we can sit by and watch all that we have built crumble around us. And what assurance do I have that the two of you are not just looking to usurp power for yourselves? Then we let the Vindicator decide. And we have a Herald here as a witness. An amusing thought, but no. Try again. Surely you cannot mean this. House Varun's survival is paramount. To say such a thing is heresy. You would brand yourself a traitor. This is a result of your escape, yes? You hit your head. You do not mean what you just said. Yes, of course. So, what is your actual reply? I think it is. Three houses stand before you. Simply choose which should represent House Varun going forward. Then so it shall be. House Varun moves forward from this crisis and continues to serve the Great Serpent. All, All must, must serve. serve. Before you adjourn, is there not one matter more to address? I do not understand. To what do you refer? To the matter of the Serpent's Crusade, of course. The Vindicator knows of what I speak. I don't understand. The Crusade was ages ago. What does that have to do with any of this? Explain the meaning of this at once. After all this time, and we knew nothing of this, the, the Council was never consulted. To be fair, it has never been necessary for the Speaker to consult the Council. It is his decision to make. 
There is nothing more to discuss. If the speaker calls for crusade, then we answer. I can assure you all that he did indeed believe in it. Then House Vethol agrees. The crusade begins. What does House Dulkef say? I... I have no wish to defy the speaker, but he is no longer here. The Varun people need time. House Dulkef declines. No. I should have expected as much. And what does House Kadik say? Both of my colleagues have made valid points. The matter is complicated. I believe that for the moment, House Kadik abstains. So, one vote for, one against. And what about you? Should we take up the sword and fight for House Varun, or continue to cower here and pity ourselves? Consider what you are about to say very carefully. Yes, of course. Such an immense decision can only benefit from discussion. There is no question that we will have to start with limited engagements. For now, we strike where we can, make it deadly to travel among the stars. We put fear back into the settled systems, where it belongs. It seems the prudent choice at the moment. House Kadik will, of course, accept the judgment of the Council, no matter the decision. But to be candid, I do not wish to be the deciding vote in such a monumental decision. We have only just survived the most terrible period in the last few decades. We need at least a moment to breathe, to feel some sense of relief. And we are hardly in a position to begin any sort of major military operation, both in terms of provisions and strategic positioning. But, if it is the will of the Council, of course, House Dulcaf will commit fully. I am. Jinan Varun himself began the original Serpent's Crusade, and it is long past time that we return to it. We cannot share this universe with heretics. There are no innocent people. If you are not promised, then you will be cast into shadow. Jinan Varum is, was, very clear. You know how these things go. If we do not decide now, word will get out. It always does. Then we will have to deal with even more disarray. It is best that we control the narrative immediately. Then do we begin the crusade? So be it. And with all of this out of the way, we will take our leave. You have been through a great deal and deserve a chance to rest. The home, of course, is yours. You deserve a place among us after everything. Know that House Varun is eternally grateful for all that you have done, and that the Great Serpent will one day grant you a place by his side. <laughs>